Hey there, everybody. It's Mark at MGCPuzzles.com and CustomMadePuzzles.com. I thought I'd make another quick video. I'm going to be carving out a couple of uh, rotary emblems for the Rotary International Group. Uh, a gentleman called up and asked me to uh, send him a sample puzzle, which I sell on my website. Uh, basically a little mini puzzle. He's purchasing it. And because he's in the Rotary Club and it's for a potential Rotary event, I thought I'd carve out a couple of these real quick and include them in my sample package. So uh, let me just quickly do this and I'm just going to hand carve these out. Something quick and easy that you could probably do yourselves. You scroll saw enthusiasts that is. And so I'm just going to carve out all of these little cogs hand by hand here. And I should probably zoom in so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And angle the camera up a notch. There we go. Hopefully that's a uh, good detail for you. So this is an example of me actually trace cutting something. And I don't do this very often. Mostly when I make my puzzles, they're all freestyle cut. And the only time I trace anything during a puzzle is when I'm carving the shape of a silhouette of a, an object like a cat, a dog, a bird, a person, or someone's initials that I carve into the puzzles to personalize them. But as you can see, really it's kind of simple to do. I'm sure you're seeing a little jiggity going on there because the rocking action of these scroll saws is this kind of design. The blade does have a tiny bit of forward to backward mo movement and that causes this to work. I'm very accustomed to it so it doesn't phase, phase my ability to scroll accurately. Probably just because I constantly have a forward motion pressure on the blade. Alright, so there we go. I just finished that cut and we'll pop that baby out. And here you go, that's what we just cut. Rotary International. So I'm gonna carve another one real quick here on camera for you. So you can see it one more time. And these are about one and a half inches across, so not very large, but Compared to what a Rotary Club member would wear on their lapel pin when they have their little brass pins, these are significantly larger. Some members like them. I used to be a member of the Rotary Club here in Essex, Connecticut for 15 years. And uh, I made a bunch of these. A lot of members like them because they're just significantly more visible. And I make them in two fashions. I will apply a pin to the back of it along with a clasp and you can press it through the material of a suit lapel or a woman's blouse and then appear, adhere the backing. But some people have really nice expensive suits and they don't really want pinholes in them. So I came up with the idea of making these with uh, an embedded magnet and then a secondary piece of wood that had another magnet that was properly polarized so that you could place it on your lapel pin, or your lapel, I should say, and apply the additional piece behind and underneath the side of your lapel, or your blouse, and uh, it magnetically like, clamps on. And this is really quite nice, as long as the material isn't too particularly thick. The only drawback is, is if you're not conscious of it, and I don't know, you greet somebody with a hug or you do something where you might hit your lapel or your blouse, the piece could technically fall off. It's, it's got a decent grip, but it's not the uh, it's not as sturdy as a pin. Anyway, so there you go. This is a Rotary International COG, and uh, I'll be making a few more of these, but just wanted to get this quick video out to you and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it and if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel so I can start doing some live broadcasts 
I need 1,000 subscribers in order to get up to that live broadcast uh, button being available on my channel. And uh, I look forward to the day that I can do that so that you can watch me live and uh, interact with me live. I'll read what you say and make some live comments. So thank you very much and uh, have a great evening.